हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू सेंट ऑस्टन यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज योर ऑनलाइन मैथमेटिक्स क्लास माई नेम इज आयुषी इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव बिन डूइंग चैप्टर थ्री अंडरस्टैंडिंग कॉर्डिलेटर्स वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड टिल एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट टू टूडे विल बी डूइंग एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट टू थ्री पॉइंट थ्री सॉरी दिस इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन दिस पैरलोग्राम हैज बिन गिवन टू आज ए बी सी डी ए सी एंड बी डी आर द डायगनल्स एंड दीज डायगनल्स इंटरसेक्ट एट द पॉइंट ओ ओके एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू कम्प्लीट दिस स्टेटमेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ए डी इक्वल्स टू सी ए डी इज दिस साइड वी नो इन अ पैरलोग्राम द ऑपोजिट साइड आर पैरल एंड इक्वल सो दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट दिस साइड इज इक्वल्स टू दिस साइड दिस साइड इज इक्वल्स टू दिस साइड दिस मीन्स ए डी इज इक्वल्स टू बी सी second part angle dcb dcb is this angle right and we know by the properties of the parallelogram the opposite angles are equal in a parallelogram so the angle opposite to this will be this angle angle dab so here we have to write angle dcb equals to angle dab next we have oc OC is this side. This is equal to what side that we have to write? See, when we did the properties of parallelogram, we have discussed that the diagonals of the parallelogram they bisect each other. That means at whatever point they intersect, that point divides both of the diagonals into two equal halves. So this means this is equals to this, and this side is equals to this side. So OC is equals to OA. Here we have to write OA. Next we have measure of angle DAB. Measure of angle DAB. Angle DAB is this angle. Measure of this angle plus measure of CDA. CDA will be this angle. So this angle plus this angle we have to find out what will this value be equal to. this angle and this angle see they are the adjacent angles when we were discussing the properties of parallelogram we did the property we had a property called the adjacent angles are always supplementary supplementary means supplementary means their sum comes up to be 180 degrees so this means angle a plus angle d their sum should be 180 degrees so with this we are done with question number 1 now we have question number 2 question number 2 first part this parallelogram has been given to us and we have to find out the missing values we have to find the value of x y and z okay so how do we proceed here see we know in a parallelogram the opposite angles are equal this angle is given as 100 degrees so this angle is the angle opposite to it opposite angles are equal so this implies y also equals to 100 degrees again see this is the adjacent angle to uh, this is the adjacent angle to 100 let's consider this one so x and 100 are adjacent angles that means they are supplementary so x plus 100 must come out to be 180. When we shift the 100 on the other side, so x becomes 180 minus 100. This gives us the value x equals to 80 degrees. So x comes out to be 80 degree. Again, the angle x and z are opposite to each other, so they are equal. So angle z also comes out to be 80 degrees. So this is the solution for the first part. Now see the second part. In second one, this is angle x. This is angle y. This angle has been given to us as 50 degrees. This angle is given to us as 50 degree. This is 50 degree. We have to find out the value of x, y, and z. Z is this exterior angle. Okay. Now see, angle 50 is opposite to this particular angle, right? So this particular angle comes out to be 50 degrees. Opposite angles are equal. Again, see, 50 degree plus z should be equals to 180. Why? Because they are lying on the same straight line. They are forming a linear pair. So 50 plus z equals to 
from here if we shift the 50 on the other side z equals to 180 minus 50 so z equals to 130 degree we get the value of z as 130 degrees okay here again see angle x angle x and 50 degree they are forming adjacent pair okay and adjacent angles are always supplementary so again 50 plus angle x must be equals to 180 so x is equals to 180 minus 50 this gives us the value of angle x also as 130 degrees now see angle x and angle y they are opposite to each other and we know in a parallelogram opposite angles are always equal so angle y is also equals to 130 degrees with this we are done with the second part also we have found out the value of x as 130 we have found out the value of y as also 130 and the value of z is also 130 degrees okay moving on to the next part question uh, part number three will be for you to try by yourself part number fourth Part number 4, C. again this is a parallelogram, this is angle X, this is Y, this is Z and this is 80 degrees. First of all, opposite angles are equal. 80 degree is opposite to Y, so this gives us the value of angle Y as 80 degree. Okay, then again, see, X and 80, they are the adjacent angles, so they have to be supplementary. This implies that their sum must be 180. From here, if we shift the 80 on the other side, so 180 minus 80 and x comes out to be 100 degrees. x is coming out to be 100 degrees. Okay. Now, again, see, this is 100 degree. This is the angle opposite to this. So, this must also be 100 degrees. 100 plus z. 100 plus z is forming, lying on the same straight line. This means they are what? They are a linear pair. They are forming a linear pair. The linear pair, the sum is always 180 degree. So, z equals to 180 minus 100. This gives us the value of z as 80 degrees. So, we have found out the value of z. We have found, we found out the value of z. We know the value of x and we know the value of y. So, this was our solution for the fourth part. Now in the fifth part, fifth part C, this angle is 112, angle Y is opposite to this, so angle Y must also be equals to 112 degrees. Again, C, in this triangle, if you are naming this, suppose A, B, C and D, in this triangle, upper triangle A, B, D, we have two angles, the third angle we have to find. So how do we find the third angles, beta? How do we find the third angle? By using the angle sum property. We know by angle sum property, we know sum of all angles of a triangle equals to 180 degree. This implies in triangle, what triangle are we considering? We are considering the triangle a, B and D. We have the angle Y plus this angle 40 degree plus this angle X. This must be equals to 180. The, we have already found out the value of angle Y which is 112. So, 112 plus 40 plus X gives us 180. If we calculate this, this comes out to be 152 plus X equals to 180. Now, we can shift this 152 on the other side. So, we get x equals to 180 minus 152. From here, we get the answer 28 degrees. Here, we have x equals to 28 degrees. See, x comes out to be 28 degrees. And see, here, this is 28 and this is angle z. Since this is li this line and this line, they are the opposite sides of a parallelogram. 
this means they are parallel to each other this ad is parallel to bc this implies angle x and z must be equal why because we know whenever two lines are parallel the transversal which is uh, intersecting them the transversal intersecting them forms the alternate angles and the alternate angles are always equal whenever the two lines are parallel so from here we can write angle x equals to angle x equals to angle z equals to 28 degrees as bc is parallel to ad and x and z are alternate angles and we have learned by the properties of uh, parallel lines that alternate angles are always equal whenever the lines are parallel so from this we are done with this we are done with the fifth part as well question number 5 The measure of two adjacent angles of a parallelogram are in the ratio 3 is to 2. We have to find the measure of each angle of the parallelogram. So let's first draw a rough sketch of the parallelogram. Suppose this is a parallelogram A B C and D. The measure of two adjacent angles let A and B be the two adjacent angles. their measure is in the ratio 3 is to 2 suppose their measure is in the ratio 3 is to 2 we have to find out the measure of all of the angles okay so let us just consider let angle a equal to the ratio is 3 is to 2 so let us consider angle a equals to 3x and angle b equals to 2x again we know the adjacent angles are always supplementary so angle a plus angle b must be 180 and why we have to write the reason as well because adjacent angles are supplementary adjacent angles are always supplementary therefore the the sum will be 180 a is equals to 3x and b we are considering to be 2x so 3x plus 2x is equals to 180 From here we have 5x equals to 180, x equals to 180 by 5. So this gives us the value 36. So the value of x comes out to be 36. Angle A we consider to be 3 into x. X is equals to 36. So 3 into 36 is 108. This means angle A is of 108 degrees. Angle B equals to two into x. This is two into thirty-six. This comes out to be seventy-two degrees. Again, see angle B and angle D. They are opposite to each other. So angle B is equals to angle D equals to seventy-two degrees. Why? Because they are the opposite angles of parallelo. gram they are the opposite angles of the parallelogram also angle a is opposite to angle c so by that notion angle a should be equals to angle c which is equals to 108 degrees again because of the same reason opposite angles of parallelogram in a parallelogram the opposite angles are always equal we are considering that and because of that reason we can write this so hence here we have found out all the angles of the parallelogram so this is it for this video we'll be doing the uh, we'll be doing more questions in the zoom class thank you